Oh. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm, this is not cute. I'm going back to school shopping, blah, 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 back to school supply shopping for you guys because I'm in college and I'm a senior in college now, which is so wild, but I don't need all this stuff. So I thought I would do a haul in my main channel and then give that all the way to you guys because I don't need like stuff really. So I thought I would just do that for you guys. Uh, yes, honey. So I'm literally exhausted, like dying tired because I was traveling all like the past nine days and I'm like exhausted, but I'm gonna just keep pushing through this day. I literally flew in this morning and I've been trying to like just keep up my energy while I can because I know that tomorrow I'm gonna be so tired and not wanna do anything like extravagant. So I'm gonna do this today and I'm going to get my dogs soon because they are currently with my mother, my brothers, because they're, they're watching them. And I got, I got my laptop fixed too. I, little, I, cannot, I cannot speak today, I'm literally exhausted. When I'm tired, like there's, there's no chance of me speaking with like literacy, honestly. Literally, literally, I'm gonna go straight. Um, that was cute. It's literally still being decorated and people are like over oh, there. It's really awkward. Oh. It's like what we got going on. This is so pretty. Someone would love this. Gorgeous. Hmm. Everything, like when I was growing up, locker stuff was like casual. Now it's like insane. Like, hey. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Literally. A fur rug. What? Flower magnets. A succulent magnet. Oh, that's so cute. I'm like decorating for you guys so I think it match. Do a wire bin for the locker. A little matchy. I don't want to show too much of what I'm gonna use. I want you to watch the video still. But oh, this is so fun. Oh, this is like oh, hello, girl. What's up? <laughs> hey. Wait, no, but like, I need this for me. So let me know. <laughs> Wait, this is cool. <gasps> what? Okay, this is happening. This is amazing. We're gonna get this going in the cart. It's lit, it's lit, it's so, I'm so annoying, but like, guys, honestly, this is the best time of the year. These are the best floors ever. They never rip, I love them. Ooh, this one's so cute. This 
one's cute too though. watched it's so great <laughs> it's, it's awkward but you know it's fine <laughs> I'm currently editing this vlog. If you guys want to see my full back to school supplies haul for you guys, it is a giveaway. Um, the rules are subscribe to this channel, Nicole Jacqueline Vlogs, and go subscribe go subscribe to my main channel, Nicole Jacqueline, and follow me on Instagram at Nicole Jacqueline. So basically, it's really simple, to, really easy to enter. I will link all the rules down below. The giveaway will go through, I believe, August 15th because then I can have time to get things shipped out to you guys and um, at your doorstep by back to school because that'd be awesome, I think. And I have all this stuff down here. I filmed it yesterday. I edited it. I edited it. <laughs> and I'm drinking some coffee right now. Um, yeah, so a little life update. Oh, love yawning. Um, so, um, in June, or... So basically from the time I got back with Playlist Live Orlando, which was the beginning of May, I got back and then that Monday I got back, I had school started the next day on that Tuesday. And that class ran from like May 9th until June 26th. And basically that class was so stressful, more so because it was a five week class and it was really fast paced and those really fast paced classes are really hard to balance just doing like normal life things so I was pretty stressed out um, or just pretty like nose the grindstone the past two months, month and a half, two months, it was like a five, six week class I think and there was like class was Monday through, Monday through Thursday and it was like uh, 9.30 to 11.30 and it was every day besides Friday and then there was basically how the week worked was Mondays was a vocabulary test and then Tuesday was a dialogue test and then a paper was due and like other homework was due on like the Wednesday and then the exam for the week for the entire chapter was on that Thursday so I was pretty much scrambling the whole past two months but I'm so proud of myself because I literally passed the class. I got like a 79%, which isn't like incredible, but also you guys, it is so hard. Like if you've ever taken one of these like fast paced classes in college, like you understand the struggle, like it's so difficult. Um, I'm a pretty much like a 85%, 90% average when it's like a full semester long classes, which I think is so good for college. Like if you're in college, you understand like it's so much more difficult than um, high school like it's difficult man like I understand um, so when I finished I literally been like back to back the past like three months well so during the past I'm trying to like recut you guys up because it's been a while since I like talked to you guys about my life and I love vlogging and I haven't been able to I could not possibly stack it on because I was so busy with everything else that if I added one more thing like I would just explode I know I would um, so I was taking that class and I was posting a ton of videos, a ton of, I'm exhausted, posting a ton of videos and I think I ended up posting like just so much videos in the past like May and June and I was also working on my Etsy shop by myself and we hit like 700 plus sales which is so cool but I'm solo working on my shop still only because don't know how much if I want to like fully go into this um, more so because my like passion is like YouTube and making slime for YouTube is really fun but I think when I'm tacking on making slime for my slime shop and then slime videos and then DIY videos and live videos there's just like so much to balance and yes I could 
hire someone to work on it with me but I just don't know how long I want to do my slime shop for um, because it does add a lot of stress to my plate and I don't find myself always loving it I do love it but it is like kind of bearing at times I might just keep it up for as long as it can go and just only stop a little, a little bit like each week because even like doing a little bit each week is still like manageable and of course I've only been working on my slime shop when I was doing tons of other things like school and different YouTube stuff and just working in that realm so I'm sure it might be a lot easier now to balance which is so nice so I'm sure I'm just kind of having this rant off of coming coming off from doing all this stuff at once but I'm feeling much better about it I'm feeling much more centered and not as exhausted so basically when I went from I don't know, literally okay so I went from school and the dog June 26 and then I had all of June 26 like in the evening which I literally like couldn't do anything because my brain was fried from studying because I studied so hard for this test and yeah so that's pretty much that day and then the 27th I had to pack and film and edit and clean my apartment get my dogs taken care of because I went to Los Angeles for a little collab work trip kind of thing with my friends Andrew, Taylor, Brittany, and Zach and then we all stayed near B&B and it was really fun. We had some fun hangouts. I literally think, I know, I know I vlogged. I vlogged an intro clip of me driving to the airport and I vlogged a clip on the airplane and that's it because I would have probably been much more passionate about vlogging if I had like a few days to recover from school and like get my stuff back together slash if it was like more, I don't know. I needed that to just be a fun work trip where I just did collabs and I wasn't like constantly like, oh my gosh, let's vlog, let's vlog, which I love vlogging and all that, like, don't get me wrong, but it was just nice to be able to like enjoy people's presences and just be fully in the, in there, in the, what's the word, fully in the, fully, <laughs> there's a word, you know, I'm trying to say, hopefully you do, but so then I planned to fly out on July 3rd, which I still did. I still left Los Angeles on that day, but then you guys, you guys, I don't ever do this. I'm very much so a planned person. I like to plan things. I like to have structure. I like to know what I'm doing the past, the next like five days ahead of me. I like to be like that all the time. Um, well, I did something absolutely insane and I was going to vlog until I realized that my, I was gonna vlog this part of the trip because it was so different and fun, but then I realized my camera was in my suitcase. And I was like, maybe it's a sign, I should just enjoy this and be, pre be present in the moment. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I did that and I basically, <laughs> I had, so I was checking into my flight when I was hanging out with my friends and I asked Andrew or something, I, I, I asked Andrew and I was like, dang, I don't wanna go home, like, uh, 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 like I always do that to myself. I'm, I'm the person who always like, wants to like change her flight, but when she's about to leave, I always do that. And um, I was like, then I think Andrew was like, well, come home with us, or like, come here with us for 4th of July. I was like, I don't even know, I don't know how it was brought up, but it was like, someone suggested me going to 4th of July with them in New York. And I was like, oh, this sounds really fun, but like I probably shouldn't because my mom was was like holding my dogs for me and like taking care of them. It had already been like six days with them being away from me. And I was like, oh, because they're very, as you guys know, they're adopted, they're very stressed out, and they're like, they're when they when they are like change locations like that, they get super stressed. Scooby is still recovering because he always gets diarrhea and he's stressed out. <laughs> um, but so I was doing nothing in my head and I was like, no, you know, I can't go with them because blah, blah, blah. So I pretty much just like closed the book on that and it's like two in the morning. I had to leave at like 3.30 for the airport. So I, you know, I was like, whatever, I'm gonna just go home. Like it's probably just better this way anyway. So I literally go to the airport and it's like 
30, 450. And my mom replies to me because I had messaged her earlier and I was like, just what are your thoughts on if I booked a flight right now to New York and went with my friends and visited them for the 4th of July? And my mom didn't respond because it was like, you know, two in the morning, her time, whatever. Like I wasn't gonna be super when I, met, when I messaged her. So when she responded, I was like, uh, she literally said, well, if that's up to you, you know, like you're done with school now. I mean, like, yeah, I still have two semesters left. I'm a junior in college. I'm just done with junior. I'm gonna be a senior in college coming fall. In winter then, and then I graduate. But she meant like, you're done with school for the summer, which I was in that horrible class, as you know. <laughs> um, so, she was like, well, you're done, like, if you're done with school for the summer, like, you might as well, like, just kind of like, if you want to, like, you know, it's fine. And I was like, well, are you sure? Like, you have the dogs, all that. I was just kind of like, oh, I don't have much time left. So, and keep keep in mind, like, my flight board's at like 5.20 and I'm literally considering changing my flight and I have like 30 minutes to like get everything planned out. Me. But not me, because I'm never like that. I'm super like, oh, I can't, it's too late. So keep that in mind. So at this time, I think I texted Taylor and I was like, oh, funny, my mom was like, oh, it's, it's up to you for New York. And I think she was sleeping, so I was just like, whatever. And then I messaged Andrew and I was like, yo, my mom said I can go, basically. He was just like, he was like falling asleep and I didn't, I don't think he responded to me until like 5.10, 5.10. Like my flight starts boarding at 5.20, it ends boarding at like 5.40, I think. And I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna do this? Like, it was such a cool moment, such a cool feeling. I was so exhausted. I didn't sleep before I left. I was like up until like 3 a.m. Pacific time. And I was like kind of insane. And I texted Andrew and he was like, oh my God, come, you should do it. Book it right now, you have to. And I was like, oh my God, like, ah. So I literally book a flight from Los Angeles to New York, but it has, so basically the flight, so I just kept my normal thing where I flew from Los Angeles to Vegas and then I would have gone to Detroit. But what I did was I took, I booked a flight that went out of Vegas to New York. <laughs> Psychotic me. So Andrew and I decided to keep it a secret, but from, from like the twins, Brittany and Taylor. So we didn't tell them and that was like the coolest thing ever. I can't even explain it to you. I think I recorded a clip from when this was all done. It was the worst video ever I took. I was so stressed out that they were gonna be like, what? Uh, oh, this is stressful. So this flight, so I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get my bag because my bag was gonna end up in Detroit and I was gonna be in New York. So it was like, I couldn't just let it like happen because I would need no clothes or nothing, nothing. So I had to do that. So I, um, okay, messages. So I went to the lady at the front desk by the airline and I was like, hey, I need help. Like I said those exact words, I was like, yo. I need my I need my bag. I just changed my flight and she was like I, it was literally literally like 515 and boarding was like starting and I was like oh my god this is not possible this is not gonna work out like I was like doubting it I just wasted money on the flight and everything so I was like oh my god so she god bless this woman like she literally somehow radioed to my current airplane and had the bag paint tagged so it would be I could get it checked for Las Vegas to New York instead of having it go to Detroit. She had that all figured out for me and this flight I booked had like four connections so I literally got off in, I got on in Ve and, um, LA, off in Vegas, I went to Denver, then I went to Chicago, then I went to New York. So I didn't end up land landing until like 9 p.m. ish in New York. But you guys, it was the coolest thing ever. Like I, like kind of shaking about it still. It was just like the feeling. Kate Nicole, really get it together. Holy crap! It was a really cool feeling because I, I'm not spontaneous like that. I don't do that kind of stuff. And it was really like obviously not everyone can do that. Like luckily, I I've, I've been so blessed by YouTube and like you guys for like supporting me that I could like that I could. Um, what's that like handle that kind of like hit if you will to like take a different flight which was such a cool feeling it was a lot of like i'm so blessed mixed with like i can't believe i just did this kind of feeling it was lots a lot of overwhelming and i hadn't slept yet so i was very like 
you know. So I get to Vegas and luckily like my bag was there. I talked to the lady at the front desk in Vegas. I've never been to Vegas before and I was like, this is a great time to be here, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Um, and I was like, hey, like is my bag, um, make sure it's like off the plane or whatever. She's like, oh, it's in the check bag. And I was like, no, it's not, I shouldn't be there. And I was just talking to her about it. And she ended up getting it off the plane and then she had it um, well, like pink tag to go to New York, LaGuardia instead. <laughs> Somehow, some, some freaking way, I ended up doing it and I was literally feeling so many emotions at once. I was exhausted. So this is a lot of story time apparently, I'm sorry, but I had to catch you up on my life. It was, a lot of things happened. <laughs> so I, my bag was done, everything was checked. So I was like, okay, if I'm gonna be flying across the country today, across the country, changing like 17 airplanes basically, I need to get like airborne, I need to get cold medicine, I need to get water, I need to get some like orange juice, I need to get all the vitamin C in me. I don't wanna get like horribly sick because I was already like fighting it and I still kind of am, but I'm like trying to feel myself. Um, so I did all that, I got all the, all the goods, got on my plane to Vegas, went to Denver, had like a two hour layover, got my batteries all charged up. And then I went to Chicago, and I think I literally landed in Chicago, and 10 minutes before my flight boarded to New York was when I landed. That was like the only rough connection, because I was like starving at that point, because I hadn't eaten really all day. I was like, I'm literally so hungry. Like, me being hungry and exhausted was not a good combination. And I was, I didn't want to eat like snacks. I was like, ew, like I have eating snacks all day. I don't want to eat more snacks. So, ew. so on my flight to, New York, thank God, and oh, this is when my battery's gonna run out. Okay, well, so my this is gonna. Okay, cool. So I get to New York and I literally am so shook. But so what had ended up happening was I Ubered from LaGuardia to J um to to JFK, which is only like ten minutes away, and. My Uber driver literally was making, he was making fun of me because he was like, your suitcase isn't pink, it's white. And it's like, not like a bright pink, it's a very like soft pink. And he literally, the first thing he says to me is, your suitcase isn't pink, it's white. And he's like fighting with me about it. And I was like, at this point, I was giving, I was giving him mouth. I was literally like, really like, is it, are you gonna fight with me about my suitcase? Like, are you kidding me? I was telling him this, I was like, sir. <laughs> I am not gonna fight with you about a stupid suitcase color. I have flown all day. I mean, I was like half verbalized. I don't remember what I said, honestly. I was so tired. But then he thought it was funny to fight with me about going to the different airport too. And I was like, listen, I'm surprising my friends and it's gonna be funny. And he was like, oh, you're stupid. And I was like, mm, yeah, you're so great. Mm, one sorry for me. Yeah, whatever. I was just, mm. I, my mom, I was blowing up her messages. I was like, this stupid Uber is like harassing me about stuff. I was like, you know, me. So I get to JFK and I wait in the terminal. I like try, try to like spot out. It's my first time ever in New York and I'm trying to navigate around different airports. I don't know anything. Like I'm just trying to figure out my life. So I get to JFK and I go to the right terminal and I go to, you know, arrivals and I just was like, where the heck is the, yes, yeah, so I ended up finding baggage claim for where Andrew, Taylor, Brittany, and Zach would all come in at. So I spotted out that I'm like, yo, I need food. So I literally go to the like to this diner thing in the airport. And oh my gosh, it was so good. I was so hungry. I was so tired. And I literally go to this little diner thing, pulling up all my all my luggage. I look disgusting at this point, like just gross. And I get some guacamole, some chips, some veggie burger with some french fries, some water. Honey, girl, I went all out. And I literally just, I sat there and ate and I just watched YouTube videos and I was just just, my, just chilling for like an hour and a half-ish and I just had the best time ever. I was so proud of myself. I was just like, I made it. I can't believe it. And now it was time to go meet up with Brittany and Andrew and Taylor and all them, and Zach, everyone. So I go to baggage claim and I'm literally like, I'm stressed. I have waited for this moment all day. I have flown across the country, been to four different airports. Like I was like, it's time. It is time to meet them. And my idiot self records a video like this. And it's the worst quality ever. You can't even see the full reaction, but I'll insert it right here. <laughs> so basically, 
it was so like they literally had no idea like as you can kind of tell in the video taylor and like taylor had looked at me and looked past me and so did britney of course andrew and zach knew about it but like their reaction like we were like almost crying like i we all had tears in our eyes it's just like what nicole i literally like, they had no idea and it was such a cool feeling so if you can ever do something like that and be spontaneous like highly recommend um so basically we spent the fourth of july together and it was so much fun i literally had the best time i am so proud of myself for going it was just such a fun time and then july 5th we all just like hung out together and just like went around um new york and it was just fun so yeah that's pretty much my life up until up until now um so now i'm back in michigan and i am just gonna you know be doing myself just doing my life for now and i'm hyped it's back to school season i had to do an update i'm sorry the video is so long now i meant to just like close out the vlog but you know here i am ranting but this is like well overdue i know it was so yeah um i'm so excited to vlog more yesterday when I got back in from the airport, I did so many things on my laptop. I got some school supplies for um, the video I was filming yesterday. I did a lot of things. Got my dogs, came back, and I was in bed by like 7 p.m. I was tired. And then yesterday, I filmed and I edited, but I was like so slow moving because I was so tired from the past like weeks and stuff. But I'm feeling better today, and I'm gonna just like get some editing done today. So edit this vlog, get it up, just do lots of like laundry, like just all that kind of stuff. Package of Etsy order from my slime shop. Return, um, send out my giveaway winner, which I did contact um, Kaylin one. Um, I don't know her exact, her exact Instagram, but she's from Kentucky. And I'm shipping that out today. And over, I'm shipping back my um, textbook rental too. So I'm back in Michigan and I'm probably gonna be here again until like August 5th. Um, I might go to LA again in August for like a weekish with the same crew just to do some more collabs because a lot of people that I want to, I want to collab with we're actually there right now but plus like it's always good to go out there and just like collab and stuff but it's just fun I love doing collabs so anyway also moving vlogs are gonna start probably like in two and a half three weeks or so I'm just moving like around ish so you'll see you'll see where I end up moving but yeah thanks for watching this if you literally are still watching this i want you guys to comment down below whale because i want or no comment down below green palm tree because i want to know if you're watching this still i don't even think i want to will honestly because i don't it always blows my mind um so i'm going to go edit this and get my life just a going but I love you guys so much and I'm gonna vlog literally like every day now that I'm back. I miss vlogging so much. I love to vlog and I'm just proud of myself for getting everything done and just having, I'm gonna have a chill July, which good, sounds so good. Cause last year I took a summer class, um, the second part of the summer. So I took it like July through august versus may through june and i recommend if you're taking a summer class take it may through june because it's not like it was only like really hot the last two weeks of class and like versus now it's like every day is like a beach day so recommend also if i should do videos on my main channel that are just like how to survive college or like things i've learned i'm a lot of you guys don't know this but i am a full-time college student and i want to bring that to my channel because I have so many things to say, so many things I should just be talking about. If I might even do like apartment tours on my main channel because like, why not? Like, I might even call it like my dorm tour because it's gonna be like my dorm for like my senior year. I don't know, I'm excited. Anyways guys, I love you so freaking much. Nicole's back, Nicole's here. I'm proud of myself, um, nothing wrong with that. I'm just, I did it. I'm feeling so grateful, I'm ready to kick some booty, and I will see you guys in a new vlog probably tomorrow. I'm gonna be on that grind, my friends. But yeah, I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you really soon. Bye! <laughs>